we will start by guiding you through the steps for putting on the lift suit. Make sure you have the correct lift suit size for your measurement. Open every buckle and release all straps to the maximum. Start by putting on the vest like a backpack. Then close the chest belt. The hip belt, which positions the buckle on the left side of your hips and the thigh cuffs. Take the back end and thread forward between the legs. Make sure to pass the strap through the guiding loop. When you use the lift suit for the first time, it needs to be adjusted to your body size. Position the vest such that the activation buckles are placed at the collarbone level. Tighten the side straps. If you cannot reach, ask somebody to help. Note the scale for your next use. Tighten the chest belt. Stretch and move your arms. If you feel any pressure or discomfort, loosen the vest slightly on the side and tighten the chest belt. Tighten the hip belt and thigh cuffs. Make sure it is possible to slide your hand underneath. Adjust the elastic elements connecting strap to your height by moving the adjustment buckles up or down. Note that sometimes you have to pass the buckles through the guiding loop in the middle. Next, adjust the bands at the side of your hips to prevent the cuffs from slipping down your thigh. Check that the bands are straight in a vertical direction. Now, the lift suit has been fitted to your body. You might have to readjust the lift suit fittings a little after some time of use to achieve optimal fit and comfort. Loose band ends are potentially dangerous as they could get stuck. To avoid this, there are loops installed to safely secure all loose ends. Each time before you start working, activate the lift suit by pulling the activation straps just enough until you feel some resistance. When the lift suit is activated, it will support you during every lift. When you momentarily don't need support or are on a break, deactivate the lift suit to ensure that you can move freely. This can be done by releasing the activation buckle and leaning forward or moving your legs. Note that when activated, the elastic elements must be positioned within the indicated region to function properly. If the elastic elements are positioned too high, reaching the limit, deactivate the lift suit. Shorten the elastic element connecting strap and reactivate the lift suit. When you start using the lift suit, your work will feel somewhat different. Therefore, we advise that you take some time to get used to the lift suit. A good way to get started is to test the support the lift suit provides you. Activate the lift suit and lift a common load three times. Then, deactivate and lift three more times. Feel the difference? This is the level of support that you can expect from the lift suit. If your work involves leaning or lifting at table height, you can optimise the support provided by the lift suit when you activate. First, bend to the position needed for your work. Activate the lift suit by pulling the activation strap until you feel the amount of support you want. You may want to pull a few times until you reach your target support. Now you are well supported in this working position. When you are finished working, the lift suit can be removed easily in seconds.